Finland has a new drone strategy. Mana is winter testing in Finland. Fodoran Aviant are doing fast food deliveries in Sweden. Arctic Aviation Hub in Skellefteå, Sweden tries drone in a box. And Amazon are getting complaints for their stupid drone delivery solution. Hello, I'm Johan and this is Science Fiction in the Countryside. Finland has adopted the five-year drone strategy. The strategy recognizes drones as a transformative technology, similar to the impact of the Industrial Revolution. These are big words. They aim to put Finland as a global leader in drone technology by 2030. That's more big words. There are five key uh, national development areas in the uh, strategy. Skills and education, building a talent pool of highly educated drone professionals. Innovation and experimentation, supporting bold ideas on business-friendly environments. Testing and infrastructure, creating world-class testing facilities for drone-related tech. National security, ensuring resilience during crisis. And adoption and regulation, simplifying processes to boost adoption and reduce barriers. Somehow Irish Mana, the leading drone delivery company in Europe, must have seen this strategy coming as they have already set up a winter test program together with Volt in Espoo, Finland. MANA also claims that one of their remote pilots now can manage up to 20 drones simultaneously. If this is correct, they have solved an important piece of the puzzle to low-cost drone delivery. However, as MANA uses wingless drones uh, with significantly shorter range than wing drones, they will probably not be serving the countryside soon. Fodora have partnered with Norwegian Aviant to deliver fast food with drones east of Stockholm in sparsely populated uh, areas. The Swedish authorities have set up a D area uh, for all of 2025 for this purpose. As you may remember, Fodora has already tried drone delivery in the countryside earlier uh, than with Arit, who used a wingless delivery drone with comparatively short range compared to what Aviant's wing drone can manage. Arit ran out of funding last year and filed for insolvency. Aviant have recently been able to lower the noise level by 6 decibels by switching to bigger propellers and are also working on going from controlling one drone at a time to multiple and are also working on a drone that will allow for sale 3 operations that will open up for suburban delivery. If you wonder what SAIL 3 operations uh, is, have a look at my recent video explaining the SORA methodology, link in the description below. In Skellefteå, Sweden, uh, Arctic Aviation Hub has just invested in a DJI Dock 2 system to start collecting experience from using drone in a box. What is attractive with a drone in a box is uh, that you can it can be placed more or less anywhere where there is power available and also some protection from theft and vandalism, and that you then control it remotely. This is of course by default a BVLOS operation and you have to get a permit in the specific category, either via STS, PDRA or via the full SORA methodology. In this case I think uh, they will start testing it VLOS first. By the way, uh, does anyone know uh, how you handle the pre-flight check when you have a drone in a box system? If so, please comment below. Residents of College Station, Texas demand that Amazon shuts down their drone delivery service. The main complaint is that the drones are too noisy, even with the new quieter MK30 version. For me, this is not unexpected, uh, as Amazon has chosen not to follow the industry standard for drone delivery uh, to winch the goods down from high altitude, but rather fly really low and just drop the parcel on the ground. I think this decision is just begging for complaints and they will have to start winching too to get acceptance. If you found uh, this drone news interesting, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. It will help me continue to do more videos like this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.